got a Google image search here for a cat, and I want to show you what happens sometimes. So if I right click this cat picture, and I do a save image as, tells me here that it's going to be a JFIF file. So that's going to be a problem, but we're going to fix that. So I'm just going to change the file name just to cat. So it's going to be cat automatically.jfif. All right, now we're going to go to the folder, and here's our file. Now, normally, you don't see the file name extension by default when you're on the Home tab here. So if you go to the View tab, I'm in the Windows Explorer. I'm going to turn on this box here, File Name Extensions. I do want to see them. So now we can see the JFIF file extension. I'm going to do an F2 to rename the file. And instead of changing the name of the file, I'm actually going to change the file extension from a JFIF to a JPG. And it's going to give me an a message saying it might be unstable. Are you sure you want to change it? Yes, I'm sure. All right, now, so that's the conversion. Easy way of doing it. I'm going to save the same picture again just to show you what would happen. I'm going to do save image as again. I'm going to put it in the same folder. And I'm just going to call this one cat2. Okay, so you can see what happens with both. Now I am going to go to Photoshop. I'm going to go to my folder. I'm going to show you. So I got both, right? So if I take the cat, if I don't convert the JP, sorry, the JFIF to a JPG, when I try to pull it into Photoshop, I'm going to get an error message. There's nothing you can do to open it. But I have the same exact picture, but I did the F2 to rename and change the file extension. So after the period, I put JPG instead of JFIF. And I can drag and drop right into Photoshop with no problem. So that's a quick trick to changing a JFIF to a JPEG.